And we are back. And we are fantastic. And we're getting in this car. Oop. Patty doesn't know better than to get into cars with people she doesn't know. Yeah, but I suppose it is a uh, limo. Hey, right, why don't you take this? And uh, yeah, that feels exactly like your leg. Oh, we took the window down, and oh, we can put it back up. And oh, Bobby speaking. Bobby with a Y. Hello, miss. Thanks for lowering that window. I'm sorry, but I can't hear you anyway. I'm deaf. Just show me where you want to go. Oh, poor little Bobby. Can we use the zipper icon on him? Oh, that is a... Ooh. Hey, baby. That's okay with me. Let's wait until we get to Baltimore. Yes, man. All right, hang on. We're gonna see reverse bias first, aren't we? I think so. Yes. Uh, yeah, I believe so, yeah. The show building, eh? It's a great place, if you like music. Apparently we do. Apparently Patty does. Well, I've assumed Patty would since it's her living. Yes. That poor fish. As you drift off to sleep, you begin to dream. She, she's dreaming. And she's, oh! Oh, Donald! You moan in your dream. The Donald. My Donald. You correct him. I love this little boat you bought me. I'm going to name it the Tramp Pianist. That, that, that's not a really nice name. Couldn't, couldn't you have called it something nicer? Like just the pianist? Why, why did you have to bring the word tramp into it? Meanwhile, in a plane far, far, far away. Because I'm a tramp. <laughs> <laughs> During our absence, you dream of passionate Patty's path and on. Performance progress. What? The concert is a huge success. It's now over. The critics have acclaimed her technique, interpretation, and mature musicianship. Her provider is arranging a one-year tour, and the two of you take this opportunity to celebrate. Hang on. Hang on, just one moment. Alright, we're back, and... Back. Sorry for that. So, oh yes, oh, oh. Larry's got his hands inside her dress. Oh. You awaken with a start to hear the stewardess say, Why, Mr. Laffler, is there a problem with your nuts? Wow, I have the same voice as Passionate Patty. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Larry liked that. <laughs> Larry looks very happy about it, yes. Uh, a voice crackles through the intercom speaker above your head. Please tighten your seatbelts and return their trays to their fully upright and locked position. We'll be landing momentarily. Wow. Wow, this looks exactly like LAX. But it says, Welcome to New York. This airport looks like just the one in Los Angeles, which is what I just said. Is this chair break? Yes, yeah, this chair breaks. Did you want some of this coffee? Nope. Alright, let's see if it's... Oh, what's this? Directly beneath the security camera is a charity canister containing many pennies, nickels, dimes, but only one quarter. Oh, there goes your chance for a Larry's Kids telethon. Because he wanted the quarter. Oh, 
hang on. And again, my mother interrupts. Which she doesn't usually do, so we will excuse her this time. Yes, yes. Right, nothing over here. How bad over here? No, nothing over here. Nothing exciting. Oh, well, let's let's leave the JFK airport. Is it JFK or is it LaGuardia? Oh, it is LaGuardia. Fine work. Feels exactly like a car. <laughs> There's nothing in this trash can. In this leisure suit, Larry home. Uh, uh, we probably have to call for a cab. Oh, that's right, we do have to call for a cab. Otherwise, nobody would know to pick us up. Which is why they have telephones in this game. It makes sense. I think, I think you need to get the, uh, the the number for the for the company first, though. Yes, but it would probably be in the, uh, the local directory. Opening the plastic telephone directory covers, you notice that someone has ripped out all the pages to prevent needless alphabetical confusion on your part. How will you know which number to dial? Oh. Oh, that doesn't work. I think it's in the, uh, the ads at the top. At the top of the screen, okay. see how you can just barely see some of the ads? I think one of those ads has the number you're looking for. ones. Hey, we should try ringing Patty. Oh, we've only got... Her phone number? What? I did write it down, her contact number. Yeah, she's probably in a different area code, though. Ah, uh, yes. Not this one, not that one, not that one. Aha! Uh -huh, Aha! Uh -huh. Five five two four six six eight. Amazing. Simply amazing. What that the company would advertise its phone number? Yes. Yes, that never happens. Yeah, it But I'm glad they did. Otherwise we would have been stuck here forever. Yes, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. Five, five, two, four, six, six, eight. Thank you for using U.S. Sprint. Hello, check a limo. Where ya? Where'd you wanna go? Ah, uh, my name is Larry. Larry Lapford. What was the question again? Where'd you deaf? Where ya? Where'd you wanna go? Oh, I'm at the airport, at the Aerodork Terminal. Where'd you want to go? Oh, I guess I'd like to go downtown. Gotcha. Meet you outside. And he hangs up the phone. Hmm. I suppose if we'd actually tried to ring Patty and actually got through to her, it would have just been like, um... Oh, well, you've got no more quarters now, you know? Yeah, I don't think that that, uh, that, that will work, mm. honestly. Oh, hey, Bobby. Oh, you could show her where you want to go. Alright, which one of these is for New York? Oh, that's Atlantic City. Florida. Oh, that's my card. Ah, here we go. Go here. Hot disc cafe, eh? Says Bobby. It's a great place if you like computers. We do like computers. That Larry does too. Yes. Larry's gonna use his phone. I'm sorry, sir, 
but my cellular telephone won't work in this area. Too much interference or something. Besides, I'm not sure you were given authorization for cellular calls. Ah. Poor Larry. Oh, we're out of time again, actually. So we'll see you in the next video. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.